Today I'm on the floor of PDAC 2025, just speaking with Rupert Verko from Cobra Resources. How are you today? Very well, Tracy. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you. And you've come all the way over from Australia. I don't see any jet lag. Uh, I had a week in the UK beforehand to acclimatise, so a week in the Northern Hemisphere has really helped me uh, get used to it. So what is your number one goal about being at PDAC this year? Well, PDAC is the global conference to be able to network with peers and look at opportunities for investment for our projects and to be able to look at other opportunities in the market. So really it's about networking, meeting people like you and being able to tell people about our project. Well, you've barely been here a few hours and of course I was introduced to you by the co-chair of the Critical Minerals Institute, Melissa Sanderson, who is very impressed with your technology. How about we start there? Sure, so Mel's a fantastic person and uh, has a very long-reaching network and um, I think what we're trying to demonstrate is very unique in the Critical Minerals Project. If you look at, um, if you look at the industry that we're working in, rare earths, you need to have something different to be competitive. And we've discovered a unique style of mineralisation that is amendable to in situ recovery, which is low cost and low capital. So we hope to be able to overcome those financing challenges that many critical mineral pro minerals projects have uh, through the low cost scalable approach that we're deploying with our projects. Well, I'm relatively new to the Cobra story. I know your London Stock ex Exchange listed, and I also understood that you have an actual rare earth extraction technology processing, which is very economical for ionic sands. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? You've done very well to remember that. So, our, our ore body is a confined aquifer. Uh, so, the aquifer is two times saltier than the sea. It's a very unique environment. We need to decrease the acidity of that aquifer from a pH of 7, which is drinking water, to a red wine, a pH of 3. Uh, so that requires very low cost inputs because we're using the natural geology to dictate our, our processing and our recovery. And then it's a simple membrane extraction process pr to produce a mixed rare earth carbonate. So what that means for us is we're producing a carbonate at a cost metric that's around $6 US a kilo uh, for a value add of, of sort of 100%. So when rare earth prices are very suppressed like they are now, we can be very cost competitive in that regard. So of course, we love this type of technology extraction process, but for those of you out there that may be new to Cobra Resources, I love to ask CEOs, what are the top three reasons you should push your computer aside, do some due diligence, and secure interest in your stock? Well, look, I think we're bringing something very different to the table. There are a lot of clay-hosted projects that have challenges. They've got great economics, but they've got challenges about the practicality of handling and processing a clay and then how to environmentally manage the outcomes of that process. With us, we bypass that challenge. We're delivering a project that requires very little capital for a critical mineral, particularly heavy rare earths like doprosum and terbium. And we're doing it in a process where uh, in our jurisdiction, which is uh, South Australia, low value farmland, we can drill a hole, we can mine it, and we can return that to farmland within a number of months. We're not talking years. We don't move a single cubic metre of material. And because of that process, we're very low cost and we're very um, low capital. So we bypass those challenges and then we can be competitive uh, at the lowest cost points, like the rare earth market at the moment, and hopefully really capitalise on those rare earth gains through the commodity cycle. So are you seeking partnerships here at PDAC? Certainly something that we're considering. Um, I'm, I'm a, most juniors can't get there without getting some further partnership investment, uh, but we're also looking for opportunities. We've discovered through our technical team a very unique style of mineralisation that's basically a world first, and we're assessing other projects where we see that, that might, we might be able to have that similar exploration and discovery success 
within jurisdictions that need these critical minerals to support sovereignty and, and, and the development of their technologies. So you're saying that we can get some of these heavy rare earth elements out of these ionic sands. Where in the world will we be seeking these ionic sands? Well, South Australia is probably the best jurisdiction to have it. Very low risk um, and we're leaders in in situ recovery. We have a number of uranium operations uh, that are ISR based. So we have the regulatory framework, but certainly the US has a number of operating ISR mines in areas like Wyoming. And we're looking at the geology to see where uh, projects may be able to be re replicated. For those of you interested in finding out more information on Cobra Resources, I also recommend you take a look at this management team and board. Thank you so much, Rupert, for Thank joining you, us today.